Hello everyone and welcome to Virtual Sunday School. I hope you all are doing well and I hope you all had a great week last week. Last week was Earth Day and hopefully you all were able to go outside or do something fun to celebrate the earth and to help take care of the earth. And so for me, I went outside and I went on a really long nature walk and I loved it. Speaking of nature, our Sunday school lesson actually kind of has to do a little bit about nature. So this time of year is my absolute favorite. When the leaves start to come back on the trees and the flowers start to bloom, it just makes the earth look so much more beautiful and colorful than it did before. And so I love this time of year as well because it's a little bit warmer out. I can start planting a garden and I can start really enjoying being outside in nature nature again. And so today our lesson is going to kind of talk about a seed. So our lesson can be found in this box. So some of you may recognize these boxes from other Sunday school lessons. We have one for each parable. Maybe you've heard that word before. Maybe you haven't. The word is parable. What does it mean? It means a story that Jesus told his disciples long ago, and they were so important that people wrote them down and continue to tell them to this day. So I'm going to share that fun story with you, but why is it in this box? Well, let's take a minute and look at this box. You see here, this has got a seed on it. This looks like a yellow seed. So I wonder if that tells us a little bit about what is inside and what story we can find. Also, this box has a really pretty gold color to it. The color gold is really valuable, just like parables are really valuable. Also, it has kind of like a present shape look to it. I mean, it looks like something that maybe you would find a gift inside or maybe you would give somebody a gift to, which makes me think that Maybe inside this parable is a gift for all of us, something that we're supposed to take with us and learn and move forward. So why don't we go now and open up the box and see what's inside? All right, so here is our box and on top is a lid. So this box has a lid. I know boxes have lids, but so do parables. Sometimes, even if you are ready, you cannot enter the parable. The lid is like a door. So sometimes if it's closed, if it happens, don't be discouraged. Come back to the parable again and again. One day it will open for you. So maybe today this parable won't mean anything to you, but keep coming back and learning about these stories. And maybe one day this parable will speak to you. Maybe today it will speak to you. So why don't we go ahead and we open up the lid and see what's inside. Oh, so here we start out with this yellow fabric. So let's move our box out of the way. And let's go ahead and spread this out. So here we have this yellow circle. Huh. This yellow circle, I wonder what this looks like, what this could be. It kind of looks like a sunshine or maybe a giant lemon drop. Wow. So it's just a color yellow. It's a yellow circle. And you know what? There's something else in the box that we didn't see before. It's so, so, so tiny that I didn't even see it first. It's this little box. So inside this box is a really, really, really tiny seed and you may or may not be able to see it, but let's take this seed out here. We're gonna take this seed, it's so little. We're gonna take this seed and we're gonna put it right here. And while we wait for this seed to do something, I wanna talk about the there was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people followed him. And as they followed him, they heard him speaking about the kingdom. But it was not like the kingdom that they lived in. It was not like any kingdom they had ever visited. It was not like any kingdom 
they had ever heard of. They couldn't help it. They asked him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? One time when they asked him, he said, the kingdom of heaven is like when a person took the tiniest seed of grain, a mustard seed. It was so small that you couldn't see it. And that person put the seed into the ground and the seed grew and grew and grew. The shrub grew so big that it was like a tree. And then birds started to come and birds came and lived in the tree. And then the birds started to come and bring their nests and they would nest in the tree. And so many more birds came to this tree because the tree kept growing. The tree was so, so big, even though the seed it came from was so tiny. And yet more birds came to live and to rest in the branches of this tree. Every year, more and more birds came with their nests and their families, and they filled the tree every single year. And so Jesus says that our faith is like that mustard seed. That tiny seed that we put down here that we couldn't even see grew into this big, tall, giant tree that brought so many birds and so many nests and so many more wonderful things to its branches. And so our faith is like a mustard seed, just like the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. The parable of the mustard seed is one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites because I know what it feels like to plant a seed into the ground and to watch it grow and to watch the items that I planted become the things that I wanted them to be, the pumpkins or the watermelon or the flowers or the herbs or the vegetables. It makes me so excited to know that that tiny seed that I planted grew into something that was giving life, which was vegetables, which was plants, which was flowers. And so this story today tells us that our faith and the kingdom of heaven is just like a seed. So I'm curious to know what you think about that. What does that mean to you in your life? And if you want to talk more about this story, I've included some discussion questions with our lesson so that you can talk with them with your families. I hope you all have a great rest of your week, and I hope you all enjoy the outside. Bye, everyone. Be safe.